Hello everyone. Today's video is about installing some sights on this Tire L9. I got some Spring XD sights, which uh, my, it's my understanding that they also fit the SIG, and we'll see if I can fit them onto this tire. If it is the case, if it is my hope that they fit with maybe some, some sanding, then you have available for your handgun all the XD sights and all the SIG sights. So let's give it a try. Oh there, it's new. Those are really cheap sights. I, didn't, I did not want to spend any money on something I'm, that might not work, but I think it's worth it to give it a try. It's from uh, Williams. People say the metal is really, really soft on those sights, but either they work and maybe uh, I will keep them. If not, well, I will know if the tire takes XD. For what I understand, the front will fit for the XD. And I'm going to measure it, and it looks like it. And the rear, well, that's another matter, and it looks like it as well. Metal, yes, it's lighter than uh, than other sides. Oh, yes, nice that little. Uh, Fiber light up really well. Ooh, I hope I like it. And that's regular fiber for the front. Very, very nice. Anyway, let's give it a try. So I need my pusher to push out the rear sight. And I will need the slide of the handgun for that purpose. So let's remove the slide. Yep. my side pusher. First I'm going to remove that set screw. It's uh, it's holding well. Then my side pusher. And I remember last time I needed to use a shim because that slide is really really thin. Everything looks pretty good. Everything's tight. And I'm going to push it toward the left. And there we are out. Good. The dovetail is not dirty, but still, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Here is the roller. Now, let's take a look at that XD side. Whoa! It's not, there is a space underneath, so it does fit is not of course 100% made for the tire but once you have those set screw and there is there are two set screws once they are let's see yeah once they are tied up it should hold everything together so i'm going to center it that's pretty small i'm going to pull one set screw out Put some Loctite, tie it up, and do it for the other one. And those set screws are pretty long. And I'm going to be pretty generous on the Loctite. If the Loctite can also reach the uh, dovetail that will be a plus so the grooves and uh, probably won't reach the dovetail
and hand tight. Don't go too crazy on it. Clean it up. And that's one down. The other one. There we go. Another inspection. You can see the light going through. Let's play with the uh, adjustment. <laughs> this screw is really for the yep up and down is working good and this little one on the side is for the windage let's see what we have here we're already a little bit to the right And we are way to the right. So I'm going to put it back to the center. And we'll leave it at that. All right, so this is beautiful. And I'm going now to change the front side. For this one, I'm going to use a, a punch. Et voilà. Here it is. All done. I want to measure something here. Out of curiosity, let's measure dovetail on the left side. The side I push the front side out is 4A2. On the right is 4A2 as well. So it's the same diameter on each side in the center is 460 so a bit tighter this tire diameter 522 on one side should be the same 522 on the other now the new side is 5 on one side and 5 on the other and remember the center here is Four, six so it should go in and stay tight in the center and yes beautiful so it enter nice and smooth but it's time to lock up in the center great that's what we want so I'm going to center it gently very gently there we go on this side it goes a little bit further down all right bear with me guys maybe i don't need this anymore it's going to be hammer time
So now I'm going to measure. I hope you guys like it. Pretty center, I think. I'm going to measure to see where I'm at. So it's about 22 to 0. So the center will be 11.1. One, 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 one. So one one and that I'm close enough. I can always adjust the rear sight, and that's the beauty of it. Having an adjustable rear sight, you can make your gun perfect because not only the sight has to be centered, but sometimes the barrel is not perfectly centered with the gun. Your eye also see different. Uh, perception from the from the side, so you always need to adjust your sight. The problem is with manufacturer sights, you can always um, move it right to left, but you cannot raise it in any ways. So how do we see with those sights? They are nice and small. Let me see. I don't know if they are good for competition, but I can give it a try. And the XD and the SIG do work. It might not be perfect on the dovetail, but make sure you have good set screws and then they will work. So those are William Gunsight Company. It's for the, the uh, it's for the Springfield XD and they do work on the L9, M9, C9. Well, until next time, see you guys.